Hello everyone, Manthrall here and welcome to the weekly update video for OSRS. Now this week we see the PGA Timer Beta and Chat Changes. So, the cycles. So each cycle is equal to 0.6 seconds. This is known as the tick for RS. Uh, so in the subject of timing, they're testing out some changes to the PGA Timer. So for those unfamiliar, this mechanic is a grace period of 16 cycles, so 9.6 seconds, uh, which begins when the player attacks something and prevents them from being hit by a player, opponent, or aggressive monster until the time runs out. With this beta, the PG timer will be active in all single way and single plus areas of the wilderness, so if a player has just finished PvP combat with player B, player C, won't be able to attack them for 16 cycles. So, another change is that the NPCs will now respect the PG timer. So if a player is engaging, player A is engaging in combat with PVP, player B, NPCs won't be able to get in the action until the PG timer runs out. <clears throat> So, some activities will be prevented though also during combat, including the duration of the PJ timer, setting uh, new chinchampas or salamander traps, picking up, checking, dismantling, this is just fine. Uh, fishing dark crabs, mining. So you'll be able to test this out. World Saturn highlighted blue of the world selection, so 401 US East, 408 UK, 409 US West, and 412 Australia. And don't forget, the Android beta signups have now closed, but until December 8th, the successful applicants can try a range of new features, including stuff like the buff bars, fishing spot indicators, increased draw distance, etc., etc. Of course, head over to the OSRS Discord server, give any feedback or changes you might think are appropriate. And then the hollowed records, after investigating, uh, they decided to reset all timers, uh, all times for the hollowed, uh, both world and personal. Uh, this is because they became aware of certain players acquiring possible personal best times as low as 0.6 seconds. While first looking into the issue, they determined it was due to a bug. Uh, they fixed it and reset any timers that were obviously caused by a bug abuse. However, the problem was not resolved, so they went back to the drawing board, and unfortunately, the second fix uh, disabled fletching in the uh, hollowed, uh, which wasn't optimal. And to make matters worse, new and marginally less suspicious records were popping up all the time. So, although these records weren't obviously caused by a bug, abuse the timing so soon after the reset and the substantial gap between these times and the former best made us uh, question the well made them question the legitimacy of this so next week they are doing a full reset of the hollow records uh, since they can't be 100 percent sure that the suspicious times were set by bug abuse um yeah, i can still keep doing that though <laughs> Uh, that's not good. People don't like high scores to reset all the time. But, group chat and more. <clears throat> so they changed the prefixes for group chat and uh, guest clan chat. Uh, as sentences with I or L, I'm not sure what that is, were erroneously being diverted to group Iron Man chat and the new command as follows. Slash at G or slash G will be group chat uh, for group Iron players only and slash at GC or slash GC will be set to guest. And they made a few more changes to various chats too. You can now clear history of the group chat. Uh, if the chat tab is set to all broadcasts will no longer be visible. Messages are now capitalized by default when typing in group chat in line with the behavior of other chat tabs. You no longer have to send a message when using the slash at x command to change chat mode and clicking on the group chat tab when i make messages you type show up on the group chat as this is the case for all times regardless of your current chat mode 
setting chat mode by right clicking has now been moved to all button instead and now includes a set chat public mode or oh, set mode or set chat mode public option sorry your clan's home world will display the uh, in the clan slide panel rather than the world for your clan you are guesting in the clan slash guest clan side panel for clans with more than 99 players and them no longer overlaps the number of players with clan icons. So there is an economy update on November 4th. They pitched some changes intended to keep the game economy healthy. So they've implemented the bank space expansions and the literal gold sink. So, if you missed it, there is a basic idea by charging a small fee for each transaction will be reduced uh, the amount of gold circulating in the game. Furthermore, this change can help address the rate at which the quantity of prestigious items in the game increases. So, at present, many more items come into game via drop uh, than there are players to use them. So the items are rapidly losing their value. With the tax update, when an item owner puts it in the sell offer, uh, the game itself might buy and delete the item, uh, paying the seller with some of the gold taken in taxes. Originally, they pitched a flat tax rate of 2%. While that's considerably lower than the rate of other games use in their auction houses, uh, They've seen some feedback raising concerns about the impact it would have on player behavior. While they don't mind players doing more direct player-to-player -player trading to avoid the tax, some feel that old school lost precious community engagement when Grand Exchange entered the game. So, basically, if you don't want to have a trade tax, you just trade with each other directly. If you wish to have, well, if you don't care about the trading, or the tax, you could just use the auction house. So therefore they agreed to the lower initial rate of 1% and can cap uh, the tax given on an item up to 5 billion coins. So that's how they're going to be looking at it. Uh, the one example is uh, there's a 1% fee charged for each item is, you know, whatever it would be. Uh, so, if a player sells an item for nine, well, 97500 they would actually receive 96600 so take away the 900 GP fee. And an expensive item, let's say it's like the Twisted Bow, like they have listed here, which is $170 million, uh, they receive $165 million because the Five million was taken out for the taxes, so that's exactly what they're talking about here. They just keep giving a bunch of examples of the same thing over and over and over. So, but yes, that is the overall plan of this. Uh, they also agreed to exclude some items from the tax altogether. So this is like your really cheap items or very very new kind of items. So if you're thinking like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like weed or, you know, like the basic items that are just basically junk items like a burnt fish, you know, th those, <clears throat> those probably won't have a tax on when they cost like one GB. Uh, other changes fix a uh, bug where the Din's Bulwark special attack uh, was reducing the stats of its target twice as much as intended. They appreciated some players liked how powerful it was, but this was caused by a bug and has now been removed. If they see significant demand for stat reducing special attacks in the future, they'll consider adding new items to accomplish that. Uh, you'll now receive a big harpoon fish if you previously received one rather than 25 soaked pages to showcase how many you've uh, got in the collection log. So if you like, the retired sailor will trade you uh, pages for your fish. Uh, you'll be able to be notified when the frozen effect is about to finish with the message the freeze cast upon you is beginning to thaw. The X amount of the seed vault uh, will now be remembered 
Ali Morrison has a right click by uh, trade option to quickly access his shops. Uh, just what they'd expect. And they've lowered the high scores of Tizkal Zook kill count requirement from 2 to 1. On the Dead Man World, Zooknux Brazier, uh, Brazier, yeah, that, not the other thing I said. Ignore the, yeah. Now, auto completes the Glyph Speed Trial task, well, yeah, task. Uh, as the fight is not available on that world. So Tizek's uh, fade to white effect is now a little less glaring. And PvP World Road has moved to period A, so 539 US PvP, 548 Germany high risk PvP, 577 US free to play PvP, 559 UK LMS competitive, and 390 AUS LMS competitive. And that's actually it for today's update, so thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.